Hey guys, uh, figured I'd start putting out a couple more videos a day, and this seems to be the well, uh, one of the easiest ways I thought of to make content and you know just push it out. Uh, I know it's not as high quality as other forms of content, but you know, it, it's what I got right now, and um. It's also just a way for me to practice because one of the things I have issues with is talking in front of a camera. And yeah, so I'm just going to be doing this for now. So if you want to keep watching, keep watching. If you don't, then, you know, things were sticking this long, I guess. But yeah, anyways, um, today's topic I want to talk about is something I, it's been kind of bugging for me for a while is, um, you know, I'm not, I don't have to name any of the names of the individuals I've talked to, but, you know, I'm just going to say, usually it tends to be, I'm just going to say, uh, all right, uh, skinnier guys, let's say this, right? And, you know, I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this and maybe hurt some feelings, but one of the things that I can't stand is I hate it when, like, maybe skinnier individuals... It doesn't have to be just skinny. It could also just be even an individual that's maybe on the heftier side and a uh, little mu muscle mass, you know? Is when people say they can't gain any muscle, you know? Especially when it comes to people who have this self-proclaimed like invincible metabolism that I can't overcome you know it's like really like you're telling me that you I had a guy that I knew once uh, they used to work at my old place up uh, he doesn't work there anymore because well you know reasons I'm not gonna get into that but this guy he's, he was a little bit of a taller guy uh, skinnier um, had like a really fast metabolism, I think fast metabolism, right? Something, he said something like that. And he said, oh yeah, I just, I just can't gain weight. And I eat a lot. And I'm like, really? Like, you just magically can't gain any weight? Like, uh, okay, buddy. Like, I find that really hard to believe when people say that. You know, I hate it when, like, guys who are like really skinny or whatever or who tell me and I'm, I'm not even making this it sounds like I'm making this up but people say this all the time it, um, and I'm not even that I wouldn't even consider myself that big of a guy you know like I'm like probably average when it comes to the, the average gym enthusiast you know uh, that are saying they'll say go up to me and be like yeah I wish I could get that big or that muscular but I just can't like no matter how much I try you know or I just can't gain weight and it's like that shit always like pisses me off because I'm just like that, that that's a whole lot of horse shit like you have not actually tried to eat you know because it, it always be those motherfuckers like the skinnier guys who say like they eat a lot and it's like well you know, that's all subjective. Like, you can say you eat a lot, but... And then I could look at it, or it's really not a lot. You know? People just think they eat a lot. And what people understand is that... There's no such thing as just magically not being able to gain weight. If, if you know, the laws of thermodynamics don't change. Like, if you eat enough calories even if you do have like say a hyper metabolism which even individuals with hyper metabolisms even if they do theoretically eat like four to five thousand calories you know they'll they'll still like be able to eventually gain weight eventually you will be able to eat enough calories to where you will start to gain weight there is I guarantee fucking to you, there's never been anybody in the history of humanity that 
just exist and you could get them to eat like 10,000 calories and they just they just won't gain any weight. First off, that's not how fucking science works. Because, okay, if that's the logic we're going for, right? If that's really the logic we're going to go for, uh, you're telling me that calories just don't matter to you, you know? It's like your body just just doesn't process calories really it, it's like it's like it's like these people just want to come up with excuses of like why they can't get big it's it's just ridiculous it's like no you can't get big because you're just not committed to the diet you know and, and like for me it's the opposite right it's like for me I, I have to really force myself to like eat less to not gain weight you know I had the opposite problem that would be like me saying um oh I'm just due to be like 200, because right now, like, what? I'm like 200-ish, 204 pounds, right? That'd be like me saying, like, oh, I'm just doomed to be like 204 pounds for us. Like, I just can't lose any weight. Like, it's just impossible. Like, th- really, now, if I were to say that, that's also bullshit, too, because that would basically mean that, like, you know, that if I were to just stop eating one day, right? I would just continue to stay at 200, 204 pounds. That's just not fucking possible. That's just, that, scientifically, that's just not how the human body works, you know? Like, my body can't just produce nutrients, that, you know? Sin, vice versa when it comes to skinny guys. Your body is not just magically gonna be, is not just magically burning through the exact amount of calories that you ate for the day. Yeah. Or they or the ridiculous supposed amount of calories you think you're eating a day, right? Because they say, oh yeah, I, I eat like four thousand or five thousand calories, I still can't gain any weight. First off, you're definitely under overestimating that. There's no way that you're eating four thousand, five hundred, five thousand calories, like, and you're staying that small. You know, you don't just stay that like skinny or whatever eating 4,000, 5,000 calories unless you're like one of those people that's like training for a marathon runner or a cross country runner, you know? Then, then that I could believe it. But yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. It's like, stop making up excuses for yourself. You're not eating as much as you think you are. Like, just actually like, look at what you're eating actually count your calories because a lot of these guys that are saying they're eating a lot I bet you that they're not even counting the calories either you know and whatever if you have to eat like 3,500 calories to like even remotely start gaining weight then so be it but don't make a don't make a fucking excuse about like oh yeah I wish I could get big like you but I can't because you know I'm just doomed to be like small or whatever it's like, no, that's ridiculous. Like, stop coming up with excuses about why you can't do it. Or just don't say it at all. But, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this video or whatever from some of the, the smaller guys who might have issues of gaining weight. But, I mean, hey, man, someone's going to have to tell you eventually, you know, that... You know, just take responsibility for your own shortcomings in life. And, that, and this doesn't even just have to do with weight, like losing, gaining weight. It could just transcend on this. This logic could transcend to anything, you know, with life. Like, oh, yeah, like, um, for example, I get... I get nervous when it comes to being in social situations. So a lot of these people, um, you know, they avoid social situations because they can, they call themselves introverts, right? And a lot of these people who are self-proclaimed introverts set themselves back quite a bit because of this, you know? And here's the thing, like, yeah, I get it. Like some introverts, like it's very hard for them, but you know, I know a lot of people who are, I know a lot of people who are introverts, right? But they are still very good at communication skills. See, that, that I also can't say either. Like, I, you can't attribute poor 
communication skills to being an introvert, you know? Like, that has nothing to do with it. Like, communication skills is a skill that can be learned, and it's also very beneficial to your life, you know? And you can't just use this... This, um idea of yourself being an introvert set you back from something that would be beneficial to your your professional life, your your social life, you know? Yeah. I mean, uh, I think that's enough rambling for today. I, I mean, I, I just wanted to make that quick video. Um, if you guys like this type of content, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about what I said. If you think what I said is bullshit, then you know, tell me it's bullshit. I don't care. You can, you can call me a dumb poo poo head or something for all I care. I, I don't know. See, I like how I'm trying to be like, look how I'm trying to be like, uh, more family friend, friendly with my. My words for now, but as if I didn't just cuss a few times during the video, you know. The video definitely probably can't get monetized. I mean, it's not like, I can't really worry to begin with because, you know, don't really have a lot of subs on this channel to begin with, so. Don't really have to worry about, like, cussing. It's like, I'm not losing any sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll probably make more videos like this for the next couple days and see what you guys think but if you made it this far then wow like I can't believe you're listening to this bullshit but you know yeah see you guys